Would You Rather is a 2012 horror thriller film that follows a young woman named Iris who is struggling to pay for her brother's expensive medical expenses. She is invited to a mysterious dinner party by a wealthy philanthropist type. Think if Bill Gates invited you to a dinner party. The philanthropist, who I'm just gonna call money bags from this point on, not only offers to pay for her brother's treatment, but for her a new place to live, for her to get a new job, and for her to go back to school. And all she has to do is go to this dinner party. Now keep in mind she doesn't know this man. He invites her in the most random way possible. He just pops up at the doctor's office and he's like, you need money, right? Cause I have money, so come have dinner with me. But of course, it's never that simple and there are always strings attached. He tells her that not only is it a dinner party, but it's also a game night and there will be other people there who also need his money. And only the person who wins the games that night is gonna actually go home with the money. Now, when you hear game night, if you're like me, you're probably thinking Monopoly, which by the way, Monopoly is a terrible game night game because while the game never ends, it will end friendships. But just so you get an idea of the type of games that are gonna be played at their game night, our main character is vegetarian. And when she gets to the game night, she realizes that she didn't tell anyone she was vegetarian. So the only option to eat that night is steak. So Moneybags is like, I'll give you 10K cash right here, right now, if you eat that piece of steak. Just one piece of steak. And she's like, oh no, uh, I can't do that. I'm a vegetarian. And he's like, you can't or you won't. So of course she decides to eat the steak because who's gonna pass up 10K that's right there in their face for one tiny piece of steak? Now that might sound bad because you're probably thinking, who would give up all their morals for 10K? But I'm willing to bet that most people have a price. I really do enjoy this movie. It's another one of the ones that I have watched several times over. I give it four golden film rooms and I suggest watching it. I used to really be into horror, you know, your typical ghost, your typical spooky type stuff. But as I've gotten older, I've really grown to appreciate an amazing psychological thriller. This film is great because it's going to offer you a little bit of gore, a little bit of horror, and it's also a great psychological thriller. I say it's on par with a Saw film, and before you come at me, I love the Saw series. I am in no way saying it is as great as that because that series is chef's kiss, but as far as like if you can stomach that type of film, then you'll be able to stomach this movie. I think Saw and Final Destination were my intros into the horror spectrum, if you will, because I truly do believe that horror, that the horror genre is a spectrum. You can have something like Hostel, which is a super gory movie, or something that's a slasher like Scream or Friday the 13th. You can have a true psychological thriller like Get Out, or you can have a thriller like The Strangers, which by the way is on a very short list of films that I've actually never been able to finish. When I started that movie, it was so creepy that I was like, yeah, I'm gonna head out. So I've actually never seen The Strangers. If anybody has, let me know if it's a good movie. That being said, I do consider the horror spectrum to be my favorite genre of movies. And I know that there are plenty that I haven't seen, especially when you start talking about classic and older titles. So if you have any suggestions for me, drop them in the comments. Runtime for Would You Rather is about an hour and 30 minutes. And at the time of this recording, you can find it on Tubi, Amazon, and Hulu. Everything from this point on will contain spoilers for Would You Rather. So if you haven't seen it yet and you don't want spoilers, save this video and come back after you do. But before you go, make sure you like this video so I know you enjoyed it and leave a comment if you have something to say. If you want to leave a comment but you don't know what to say, just drop your favorite spooky season emoji. I love how serious Moneybags is about his foundation and the game night. Bro is dressing up. He even told his son that he wasn't dressed up enough. He said, what was his name, Bevins, or was that the butler's name? Whoever it was, he was like, you're not even dressed well enough, babe. Like, put some better clothes on. We are rich. I cannot help but scream every time I watch this movie and Moneybags is like, okay, does anybody want to leave? This is your opportunity to go. And then the alcoholic actually does get up but then he sits back down. I just scream at the TV. I'm like, y'all gonna wanna go ahead and like leave right now because you don't wanna be around for what's about to go down on this game night. But alas, they just sit there like they can't hear me. When I watched this film for the first time and he made Iris eat the piece of steak and he made the alcoholic drink the alcohol, that's the type of film that I thought I was in for. I was like, oh, this is gonna be a night of them testing their morals. But I didn't get that. I got some pretty intense would you rather situations. Now, I wouldn't suggest anybody go try these at their next game night, but let's talk about some of the ones that I thought were the wildest. And if you have any ones that you thought were the craziest, drop them in the comments. Now, the mystery round was great all around. This is the one where they have to choose between their mystery card or the barrel of water for two minutes. Which, by the way, even an experienced diver or swimmer will probably have trouble holding their breath for two solid minutes, especially under this amount of stress. Out of this round, we get the infamous eyeball cut. I think that this scene really, really hit for me because I have worn contacts for many years now and I've actually cut my cornea before. Typically it happens from having nails that are too long. 
and it really really hurt so watching a guy have to go through cutting his eyeball with a razor blade was too much for me now iris opts for the barrel on her round which ends up being the optimal choice because her card actually said that she needed to have all her teeth extracted and i'm willing to bet that that was without novocaine so yeah she picked the better option now amy who was played by sasha gray in this film decides to pick the car because she doesn't want to do the barrel of water which you find out is because her husband actually drowned her baby like that how long can you hold your breath amy how long did it take your husband to hold your little girl while he drowned her she has obvious and understandable trauma around water and the simulation of drowning but she has the extreme misfortune of choosing the car that is the barrel but for a longer amount of time i mean what kind of luck is that but i will say the round that got me the most is the repeated rounds when they were still doing their group challenges and the guy just kept getting hit with the i think it was an african african walking stick a lot of the other pain and a lot of the other scenes were temporary. It was like they did it and then they were done. But for him, this just kept happening over and over and over again. And yeah, it was really, really tough to watch. I think I might have covered my eyes or like put it on mute or fast forwarded it the first time that I watched it because it was pretty heavy. But I have to say the most sick and twisted thing of them all is that Iris actually wins the game. She completes everything. She ends up actually somebody at the end of it and she gets home and she's excited and ready to tell her brother that everything is going to be okay he's about to get a transplant all of these things all to find out that he had unalived himself while she was gone i don't really think it gets much sicker than that like whoever wrote this was just like i'm gonna write the most fucked up ending people are gonna love it <laughs> but yeah let me hear your thoughts on this movie i know that it's not for everyone but for those of us who do enjoy a movie like this i would love to hear what you think if you want to keep in touch outside of this video subscribe to my channel or come hang out with us over on discord and i'll see you later subscribe would you rather is a twin my chair is like filming in the chair is different business okay plus i have the chair elevated so like my feet are not touching the floor <laughs> oh lord okay i think we're good being short is a struggle. Okay. But I'm willing to bet that most people have a price. I just stabbed myself in the lip when I said that. <coughs> I cannot help but scream every time I watch this movie and a motorcycle drives by. I get struggle to. But she has. Better at Coachella. I went to see Chica. She went to CC trip. Perfect. I took a seat on the ice cold. She had to be an ice blue bong